In this video, I'm going to teach you how to change the belt on a Maka NB series bill validator. In order to replace the belts, you'll need a number two Phillips screwdriver, a number one Phillips screwdriver, and a flathead screwdriver. First, you have to take out this screw up here that's holding in the board box. So you remove this screw. You pull it up, and there's two tabs down here. Pull it out of the tabs. The board's in here. It's screwed in so you can't pull out the control board, but you can unplug all of the wires. This long one here can stay plugged in. It's not attached to anything. Set that aside. Remove these two screws. And this just comes up. Set that aside. Next, you want to remove the faceplate. Turn it over. Remove these screws. Sometimes there's three, sometimes there's four. And the face weight just comes right off. Set that aside. Next thing you want to do is remove these brass shoulder screws with your number one screwdriver. On the other side as well. Alright, then you stand up, and there's this lever here. You pull that up, and the bill box comes down. And there's a lever down here. You pull that down, and this whole unit comes out. Alright, set this piece aside and work on changing the lower belts. Take your number two Phillips, remove these two screws. Set this piece aside, and you remove these four, and this fifth one down here, this little one. Usually this screw is shorter than the rest, so you want to keep it separate. And lift this guy up. And there's your belts. Take them off. And replace them with your new belts. Alright. Put that back down where it was. Put that back where it was. Put the screws back in. And then you put the gold piece back in place and put the screws back in. Okay, so this piece is finished. Take your other big piece. It has a stacker in it. We're going to change the stacker belts now. Start out by removing these little tabs. And out. Same on the other side.
All right, and then you remove these four in the front. Turn it over. You got to pull this plastic piece down. There's tabs on either side. And this just pops out. These nylon washers are very important and they usually fall off so you got to remove them and make sure you don't lose them. Alright, in order to remove the belt you have to remove this spring from the bracket like that. You take your flathead screwdriver and pry the bracket off. Then you take your your top wheel, it's uh, got a flat side, so you line it up with the flat side of the pin. You wrap your belt, your new belt, around it. Stick your bracket over it. Push it down until it clicks. And then you put your spring back over the bracket. The other side, pretty much the same, slight difference. You take the spring off the bracket, you pry the bracket off with your flathead, but since these cords are here, you have to take your belt off around this way. Match up your flat side of your wheel with the flat side of the pin. Take your belt, you're going to wrap it around the validator. Just let it, these cords don't get in the way. Put the belt around the top wheel. Pull it off and get your bracket in place. Alright, so you've changed the belts on the stacker. And you gotta put it back in. Stick in. You gotta pull the cords through. Most importantly, you have to put the, the nylon shoulder washers back on. Drop that back in where it goes. Push this plastic piece back up until it clicks into its little spot. Alright. You gotta put your four front screws back in. Okay, and then you gotta put your tabs back in. Same on this side. You put your two large pieces back together. Insert the bottom part in. So the, the bar goes over it. And then lift this up, push the bill box in, drop back down. All right, then you gotta put your your brass shoulder screws back in. You gotta line up the circle to make sure it goes in the right way. Okay. You start putting the control board and the box back on. Take the flat piece, stick the cords in, put your screws back in.
All right, then you plug the board back in. Stick your little pieces back together. these cords up in the slot, stick the tabs back where they go, and put the screw back in the board box. And lastly, we put the face plate back on, stick that in place. Turn it over, put the screws back in. Okay, now you've changed the belts on a Maka and B-Series validator. To order a new set of belts, or if changing the belts did not solve the problem, visit our website for more information on buying new validators or getting your validator repaired.